Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're in Farnham, Rudridge to be precise, in Farnham. Just got tipped as you saw, uh, we're just about to make our way out, just building up the air because I'm only on the six, so just building up the air a little bit, put it in the sat nav where we're going, obviously I know how to get back to Southampton but I'd like to know when we're getting back, so let's just put that in. And before we go, just take a, a quick sip of drink. Strawberry flavoured milk. <coughs> right. Nearly done. That'll do. So I've just put it in reverse, let the banksman know that I'm coming back. He's going to watch me out. It's not a hard reverse, we've just got to uh, reverse into this corner, but lorries can come out of it. Uh, it's relatively tight, it's not the tightest, but a little bit. Cheers mate, thank you. Oh, that wasn't great. Let me uh, go forward a little bit. <laughs> Just left it too late to turn, that was all. Well, I say turn, turn back. So, if I, I didn't have enough time to straighten up, basically. No worries. Right, see you later, bud. Yeah, um, I was turning right. It's quite, like I said, it's, it's not a hard turn, but, uh, if you turn too much, like I did, then you can't straighten up in time. So I had to go forward and turn a little bit quicker, the opposite direction. Right, so, so we're in Farnham right now, and um, we're on our way back to Southampton. I haven't got a clue what we're doing next. Not a Scooby-Doo. Okay, so we are currently getting loaded now. We're we are on our way to a place called uh, Oldermaston. So um, what I do is I just get my phone up and we start recording. There we go. Right, so let's open up Google. So here we are right now. It should be in my research history. Uh, Oldermaston. There we go. Young's Industrial Estate. That's where we're going. Um, one hour, three minutes away, according to Google. It's actually going to be about one hour, 15 minutes in a lorry. And, um, yeah, it's basically near Reading. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to go all the way up the M3, past Winchester to Basingstoke, whereby we're going to get on this road here, uh, which is the A340. Follow that all the way up until we get here. And we're going to go in there. And basically, it's uh, an industrial estate. You come off this roundabout here and then turn left. If we look at street view, head down there, go left after the gates and it's just on the right. Uh, maybe if I come over here, you might be able to see it. There's yeah, that building there, it says Merco, but can't quite see. Anyway, that's where we're going. <coughs> um, unfortunately, it's only two runs today. 
So, um, well, I don't think I'm going to make it back in time for the third one. I might be able to make it back and get preloaded. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not three ones, only the two. Never mind, we'll crack on anyway, hopefully get some more footage. You can't quite see, but there's a lorry there with, um, with a crane next to it. And it's like, it's got these massive iron beams and it's quite a long lorry. But to get just down this stretch of road, which should only take a minute, it took me a good 10 minutes to, to actually get past because the lorry was just in its way. And I just, I thought to myself, I wouldn't want to be that lorry driver. But yeah, let me just get my phone out. I'll just start recording it a sec. So um, it's got these like massive beams. Oh, it's not actually picking anything up yet. Massive beams. And um, they're building something there. I'm not quite sure what. But they just concreted all the floor in. And they've got these iron beams, by the looks of it, going in as well. And uh, get my phone out again, because as you can see down there, that's the way out. And at the moment, it's ram packed with lorries, so I can't get out until they all clear off. And that's me getting loaded. So yes. Still ram packed down there. So yeah, we're gonna get loaded now, and then we'll head off uh, to Alder Mason, which is near Reading. And then make our way back down again, hopefully, yeah, it should be alright. Hopefully we get back to get preloaded and, and maybe even drop it off, who knows? But we will have to wait and see. See you in a bit. Right, we're loaded. We've got paperwork. We're ready to go. Just got to try and figure out what this uh, camper van thing is doing. Because I need to get out. This road is a bloody nightmare. Might be able to see that crane tipping that lorry. Right, there's a car behind it. Will it want to go down here? If so, I'll have to go back. Yeah, I don't know what they're building here, but it's been going on since I've been coming here. I'm hoping they make this a bloody road, all this fencing. Make it a double road. It looks like we've got a standoff now. That van wants to go out that way and that car's like, now nah, mate, I want to go in. Just gonna go back a little bit just to give people room if they need to come down. Is anyone coming down? Doesn't look like it. Right. Then we will go forward. Go, go, go. Clear left, clear right, clear left, clear right, clear left. That's not an over-exaggeration of how much you've got to check either. That's pretty much what you do. You continuously check to see if it's clear. Because by the time you pull out, you're slow. So by the time you pull out, it, it was clear two checks ago, but now it might not be. Never mind. Yeah, so on our way to Aldermaston, I've just spoken to the office. Uh, this is the final run for today. However, if I do get back, then I might be able to deliver another one today. And that is quite tight to get around with those wing mirrors sticking out. I'm gonna have to go on the curb as my trailer would hit it. Do all these dodgy maneuvers. 
that van was waiting for me to come off the curb. I didn't want to come off the curb like that, like a drop. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to come off on the on the slip bit, if that makes sense. Because this road is an absolute nightmare, man. There's cars parked all over the place. The cars that do give way to you don't give you enough room. It's just a royal pain in the bottom. There's Saunders. He's walking his dog somewhere. There he is. Yeah, he's got a dog with him and he's like always in the cab, that dog. And when, when he goes out to get his ticket and stuff, the dog's in the driver's seat. <laughs> uh, when I brought my girlfriend with me that, that uh, those two days, I said, oh, look over there, look, a dog's driving that lorry. And she had a look, and then she like burst out laughing. <coughs> Just... Now we're out of the rubbish road. We should be all okay from here. All okay from here. Right, so I spoke to my boss about getting the truck done up, and... It should be getting done up in the new year. Um, he's got the lights and everything for it, so I mean, I should have lights on the steps, on the wing mirrors, on the front, on the top. Do you know what I mean? I'll have lights, beacons, and all that, and going down the side of the lorry, so I should have plenty of lights. I've got alloys ready to go on. Um, well, nearly enough. I, just, I need two more alloys, I think, because the lorry they're coming off of is the one that didn't have a mid lift axle, so he's only got four sets, and needs two more. Um, and then obviously it needs to be wrapped, but he said there's no point doing it now because it's rubbish weather and it, it's just going to get dirty all the time, so he said he's, he's going to do it in the new year. So that's the plan. So hopefully February, March time, the truck should be done up. Hopefully. No idea what the wrap is going to be, but he is still intending to wrap it. I've suggested that it'd look cool if it was a, an ice dragon, so um, he's got two trucks that need doing up. I said it'd be quite cool if they're both dragons and one was fire, one was ice. I quite like the idea of an ice um, ice dragon because you can have like blue lights and stuff, so I thought that'd be quite cool. But I haven't got a say, so it doesn't matter what I suggest or think, um, it's not my truck, <laughs> so I just drive it. But yeah, fingers crossed, um, it's, it's going to start getting done up sooner rather than later. Ladies and gentlemen, we are nearly here. Just got a few more corners to navigate. So we're in Older Mason. I was just speaking to a mate of mine and he said apparently this is some sort of, I, like, I mean, I know there's a military base here, but it's like possibly a, a nuke base or a bomb base, I don't know. He's probably just talking a load of rubbish to be honest with you. <laughs> but I know there is a military base here. Or maybe a bomb shelter, I don't know. Anywho, let's turn right round here. It's all clear, all clear, let's go. The, um, when we get here, we've got to sort of pull up and then reverse and turn right. It's a right hand reverse turn. Uh, right hand turns are easy enough, because obviously it's on your good side. But it is quite tight, because there's normally a van parked in the way, but We'll, uh, we'll see in a second. That car's now moving off, that's good. Yeah, it's definitely a military base, but I'm not entirely sure what it is they do there. I'm in order, Mason. Right. Just round the corner now. Three quarters of a mile, according to the old sat-nav. And then the plan is get tipped here, go back down to Southampton again, get loaded, 
for Petersfield, Travis Perkins, and then deliver that, uh, hopefully tonight, and then go back up to Southampton again to get loaded for the morning. If I can't get loaded for the morning, then obviously I'll just park up around the corner to get loaded in the morning. Tomorrow I go home. So I'm actually looking forward to going home. I done four nights out in a row last week. And three nights out in a row. Yeah, come home on Thursday and then um, went and done Friday. So it felt like a long week yesterday. Normally I obviously do three nights out, but I go home on a Wednesday, which splits it up. So I'm really looking forward to going home tomorrow to split up the week. And last week, it just feels like I'm at work all the time at the moment. Anyway, where that white van is, that's where we are going. There we go. Get bumpy. Here we go. So, Morocco, right there, look. I'm now, I'm now legally allowed to take my seatbelt off because I'm off public roads. Put hazards on to insinuate that I am doing a manoeuvre and we need to go into there. Let's go. The van that was here last time isn't here now, so hopefully I can get in a lot easier. In we go. Gotta try and find the best place to park now without blocking anyone in. I'm gonna go a little bit over to the right and forward because I'm hoping people can get round the other side of that van. or well, if they really need to say down the side of me. Go forward a little bit more. That should do. Handbrake on, engine off. All right, we're here. So let's go get tipped. And uh, make our way back to Southampton. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, we're done. Let's get out of here.
Let's lift up the mid-lift axle. Yeah, so uh, that didn't take too long at all. Uh, they both got on that pretty quickly. I did see that van come in, but the brakes decided to press on a lot harder than I anticipated. Let's go, go, go. Yeah, something um, that happens, like after you've been loaded, I don't know, it's like the brakes, either the brakes are used to like you putting a certain amount of pressure on, as soon as you're unloaded, you uh, apply the foot pedal a little bit and it just locks the brakes. Well, this lorry it does anyway. So like, I'm pretty sure the back wheels are locked up there and break into that junction. Let me just have a listen a sec. Seem too bad then. That lorry decided to, uh, that van decided to let me through, which is very nice of him. Right, so let's go home. But <laughs> when I say home, I mean back to the yard, as in back to where I get loaded. It's not home time today. I was thinking about going home because. This is normally a home run, and I'd, I'd turn left out of that junction if I was going home, but obviously I'm not. I'm going back down to Southampton, so I've turned right instead. So, we're not going back home, we're going back to Southampton, get loaded, and hopefully we can uh, get tipped tonight in Petersfield. Um, as long as I'm there by four o'clock, it should be all right. ETA back into Southampton is half past one, so I should be out before half past two and it takes about an hour and 20 minutes to get there. So yeah, I should be there by four with a bit of luck. Right, so we're back in uh, Warston, Southampton. Just going through the little high street and then we'll uh, we'll be on our way into the yard. They've got the Christmas trees up, look. I don't think they were up yesterday. Well, they might have been just putting up yesterday, actually. Saw some workmen there with ladders. You are well over your giveaway line. mind the tail swing on this lorry so I'm following that green lorry and where he's going I'm going great parking buddy your ass is sticking well out never mind back down the horrendous road bam, bam, bam. I was under the impression that today was going to be a, a sunny day um, last night the sky was like proper red and you know the old saying like red sky at night shepherds the light or whatever it is and it was it was proper red like last night so I, I was expecting today to be a proper sunny day but uh no <laughs> just very cloudy and overcast it's a miserable day and uh, I much prefer sunny days it's people parked in weird places Makes it harder for a lorry to get round corners when you parked on bends. <laughs> they keep going nonetheless. There's a Ferrari normally for sale here. It's not here at the moment. Maybe they sold it. There's a van come in. There's the Ferrari. He's flashed me through. Is he going to leave me space there? Yes. Like I said, some people give you, like, they, they, they let you through, but they don't give you enough space to actually get through. And they're the worst kind of people. Like, just be selfish. <laughs> just keep driving, because you're actually making it more of a hindrance. <laughs> Bumpy road. If you stay there, mate, I... Okay, you're not going to stay there, so you're making me go up on the curb. I was going to say, if you stay there, I can get past you on the road. Instead, you made me go on a pavement. Car parked there. No one in it. Quite a tight turn when you've got cars. That trailer is very, very close. 
Oh my god, you're talking less than an inch to get past that car. All because that car's parked under the T-junction. Anyway, we're here. I think I've moaned quite a bit in this vlog, I do apologise. <laughs> I'm not a moany person normally. Those beams are going up. Probably going to be waiting here for a while by the looks of it because, well, you're going to let me in, but I've got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go at all. Because I ain't got enough room to reverse into there, so I'll just fucking wait here until there's room. Until I'm told otherwise. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so we are now leaving Southampton. We've just been loaded. We've got 34 bags of sand and gravel and stones. And we are on our way to Petersfield. There's, that's where we're going. We've got a, a lorry there, Day's lorry there, who obviously works for the same company I work for. Well, not who I work for, just who I'm doing uh, deliveries for. So we're squeezed past him. Very kind of him. And we are going to make our way now to Petersfield. So, um, as I was in there, I got talking to another driver. And you know, how it is, you go, oh yeah, you finished for the day then? And he's like, yeah, finish, finish for the day. And then I was like, oh yeah, part timers. Do you know what I mean? I go, uh, you're getting preloaded then, are you, for the morning? He goes, yeah, going to Petersfield. I said, oh, that's where I'm going. He goes, oh, well, I'm first. I was like, well, I'm, I'm staying down there tonight. <laughs> I said, I don't go anywhere, remember? I said, I'm staying down there tonight, so I expect I'll be there first. He goes, oh, that's not really fair, is it? <laughs> I was like, we can't, we can't have that, do you know what I mean? Like, he's going home, he's in Southampton. I'm on my way to Petersfield now, and if I can't deliver it, I'll be staying out there gate. So, I don't think he was overly happy. But um doesn't matter anyway because they're taking it tonight. So I'm going to be there for three o'clock. And most places take deliveries up until four o'clock. So um, shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. So I should get it off tonight and then uh, come back to Southampton. And uh, yeah, with a bit of luck, I might be able to get preloaded. Depends on how quickly they tip me. If they tip me sort of within half an hour, 45 minutes, there's a good chance I can get preloaded for tomorrow, but um, it kind of depends on how quick they tip me. I don't think I will. Good news is that this is technically a run for tomorrow, which means I should only have two runs tomorrow to do now, and then I go home. So um, that's good news for tomorrow. Good news. And I've just realised that I've done all this vlogging today, and I haven't actually tested to see if the microphone works. Normally I do a test clip first, make sure it's all working, and I haven't. So this whole vlog could be uh, completely void for all I know fingers crossed it isn't but uh, yeah so we're crack on to uh, Petersfield now uh, I don't think it'll be dark when we get there it should be about the same lighting conditions as it is now but it certainly will be dark on the way back so uh, no time lapse just yet we're waiting till we get there get tipped and then do a time lapse on the way back providing it's still light so yeah see you on the other side Okay, so we're in Petersfield now, ready to go. Uh, got the sides down on the uh, on the trailer. So we're just going to wait now for some forklift drivers to turn up, and uh, hopefully get tipped. Go back to Southampton before uh, before five. That's the plan. Let's we'll find out. Right, so we just tip in, well we've just been tipped, sorry. We're now reversing out. 
which is quite hard in the dark. Well, it's not dark yet, but it's very dimly lit. Right, so we're off. Okay, so the situation we have at the moment is uh, ideally I'd like to get back to the yard uh, to be loaded first thing for the morning. Now I've got to be I've got to be in the yard before five o'clock. So um, I've got to try and get there before five. The problem is, current ETA is 10 past five. So I'm behind schedule basically, which is not good. Well, I'm not really behind schedule because the, lo the load I just done now is for tomorrow morning. So. Um, by the way, sorry if you can't see me. Yeah, the load I've just done um, is for tomorrow morning. So I'm already loaded up anyway, but I'd like to be loaded ready for the morning so that I can get it off easily and quickly and then do my final run and finish at me. Because tomorrow I go home. And uh, I plan on vlogging um, tomorrow as well and I'll probably have this in two parts. What you're watching right now could be part one or two. I am not sure right now. But uh, that's how I'm thinking about doing it. So yeah, basically, I just want to try and get back now ASAP. I don't think I'm going to make up any time. And um, I'm, I, I think I am going to get caught up in traffic. So uh, yeah, a bit of a bummer. So I've left the GoPro on the back. I'm going to film the journey back because it's going to be night time and I've never filmed on the outside of a cab during the night time. So I want to see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. <laughs> That'd be a really bummer if it did fall off, a real bummer. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to do a uh, time-lapse on the way there as well. So you're going to have time-lapse in a second. Uh, if you don't want to watch time-lapse, skip forward. But hopefully you're going to see it turn dark pretty soon. So, um, yeah, so I'm making my way back to Southampton and uh, I'll reconvene with you guys when I get there and uh, I should have an answer as to whether I'm getting loaded or whether I'm parking up for the night. But I suspect it'll be parking up for the night. But we will see. So, without further ado, see you in a second. Enjoy the time lapse. Bye bye. Right, so as I thought, didn't have enough time to get back. So we're parked up now for the night. And uh, yeah, we'll have to get loaded in the morning and then uh, go from there really. Um, I know that, I know what my runs are. I've got to do one run to Andover, uh, Travis Perkins, Andover. And then the, um, the next run is to Devizes. So I'm, I know I've only got two runs to do tomorrow. And uh, I'm hope, hoping we can be done relatively quickly, but I mean, we're across that bridge when we get there. You're never quite sure when exactly you're going to finish. But what I need to do now, I can't see because the ignition's off. Just need to take my tacker card out because now I'm finished. And I also want to do a printout just to double check my hours. I'm 99% sure it's fine, but I just want to check for my own sake. So I do want to print out when it asks. Also, I can't remember exactly when I started this morning, so I need to do a print out to find out. 24 hour print out, yes, in UTC time. 
also gives me enough time to sort my paperwork out for today and yesterday and depends if I did yesterday or not Farnham yeah I've done yesterday's paperwork so today I have done three jobs so let's sort that paperwork out done Farnham this morning we've just done Petersfield which is what this paperwork is so that one can go there Petersfield and then in the middle we had Older Mason. so I hate ripping this stuff off it's so annoying it's me it's got a bin it Right, so that's all the rubbish, that's the rubbish, that's rubbish, that's rubbish, and that's rubbish as well. All rubbish. So I need to find a bin for that. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Right, so, Farnham this morning, and then an older Mason. And then a Petersfield. Petersfield. Excellent. Uh, and then we did, let's look at this. So we started this morning at 5.30, 0.5.30, and the card is out at, well, just now really, so 20 past 5. So 0.5.20. which is, by my reckoning, 11 hours and 50 minutes. 11 hours, 50 minutes. Now, let me just check driving time. So I only done six hours, 42, so yeah. I was just wondering if I went over nine or not. Nowhere near. And by the looks of it, I had sufficient break. So that's all good. Don't need to keep that. So that now also needs to go in the bin. Let's get my miles down. So I was on five, three, four, one, two, eight, and now I'm on five, Three, four, five, one, four. So now I just need to work out how many kilometres I've done. Do, 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 five, three. I need to do yesterday's as well. Five, three, four, one, two, eight, take away. Five, three, three, seven, zero, four. So yesterday I've done 424 kilometres. And then today, five, three, four, five, one, four. Take away five three four one two eight three hundred and eighty six kilometers three hundred and eighty six kilometers cool and then obviously I'm starting tomorrow on the same kilometers and I'm as I'm ending tonight so I can fill that out ready five three four five one four and I know tomorrow I'm going to be starting about five forty five but I'm not going to put it in yet I'm going to wait until I actually start and tacos in and go from there. That's the plan anyway, and you should see uh, tomorrow. It depends on whether I actually start recording first thing in the morning or not. Depends how tired I am. So that can go there. This paperwork needs to be handed in in the morning. So that can go there. Cool. So that's it. I need to put all this stuff in my side locker. I've been and bought myself a load of rags from Amazon. It was 10.99 for I think like 25 rags. So I've got loads of bloody rags now. Look, look at this. Absolutely loads of rags. So they need to go in the side cabinet. I actually need to tidy my side cabinet. Um, I'm contemplating putting half in one side and half in the other, just in case they all get dirty. I've also bought this which is uh, metal polish so I can sign my tanks up. Now this is auto sell. I saw someone clean their tank up and it literally made them an amazing difference straight away, but they only had a small tube. So I've been and bought myself a whole tub. That cost 25 quid. So I'm hoping that's gonna shine the tanks up. That needs to go in the side as well. And do I have anything else? No, I think that's it. 
yeah, that's it. So, that's all fun and games. We're, we're now done for the day, parked up, and now we just need to chillax and do it all again tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I'm assuming that this is gonna be part one and that part two will be out over the weekend. So uh, enjoy this and see you over the weekend. Drive safe, bye bye.